Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. In ancient India, the battle used to end with sunset. However, the times have changed. India is facing terrorist infiltration along its western border and Chinese incursion at its northern and northeastern borders. The dark of night unfolds unknown challenges to our soldiers. The infantry is virtually blind and the night sights will provide soldiers a much needed capability. Even if the surveillance equipment detects the enemy, the shooter can't see the target. Despite detection, there is no integration between shooter and the sensor for the accurate engagement. Therefore, Indian Army needs exceptional day or night capability to detect potential threats in adverse battlefield conditions while providing high fidelity situation awareness required for mobility, rapid target assessment and engagement. Now first let's try to understand the Indian Army's requirement for the night vision sites. As per the RFI issued back in 2019, Indian Army has requested for night sites for 56,000 7.62 into 51 mm assault rifles. Now if you look at the caliber of the bullet, the only assault rifle of that caliber Indian Army has is 6 or 716i. Out of 56,000 night sights, 40,000 are going to be image intensifier based night sights and 16,000 are thermal imaging TI based sights. The RFI for the image intensifier states that its sight should allow soldiers to aim up to 500 meters and to detect human target at minimum 600 meters. Another key army requirement is that sites should have a service life of 10,000 hours of operation or 10 years whichever is earlier. The RFI for thermal imaging based sites states that it should facilitate accurate engagement of targets at a range of 500 meters. The sites should be able to detect moving human target at 800 meters and recognize it at 500 meters. These sites should have minimum service life of 10,000 hours of operations or 12 years, whichever is earlier. Talking about image intensifiers, it intensifies the light received by sensor and cleaning up the picture received, thereby revealing more detailed picture that would be captured by human eye. The picture is constructed using colors from green to black as human eyes are more sensitive to green than any other color. However, this is low light system and needs some light to function and will not be effective in pitch dark condition. Talking about thermal imagers, it uses infrared waves emitted to create its own contrast and provides capability to see through in night conditions. However, they lack high resolutions as provided by image intensifiers. This is where enhanced night vision goggles come to play, combining best of both technologies. This is a technology which Indian Army should be now looking to equip its soldiers with at front line. Our NSG has already been equipped with Tonbo Imaging's first generation EN. VG D3 compliant helmet mounted sensors. Tonbo Imaging has also reported that apart from NSG, ENVG is also being deployed for the infantry of Northern Command and Special Operations Unit of Paramilitary Forces. This will definitely boost the Indian Army's capability for night and covert operations. Apart from this RFI, Tonbo Imaging is also working to respond for an RFP for more than 22,000 thermal imaging sites for 6716 assault rifles which was reported by its CTO Ankit Kumar. Army is also procuring 800 TI night sites for infantry units equipped with AGS-30 30mm automatic grenade launchers as they currently lack TI sites for night operations with access only to PAG-17 day site. Talking about Tonbo imaging. It is a Bengaluru based tech company specialized in night vision devices and has a rich experience on a range of battlefield modernization technologies, immersive surveillance and strategic electronics for military applications. The special forces of the best militaries of the world, US and Israel are using the night vision goggles supplied by 
Tonbo Imaging. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.